Welcome to Thought for the Day for Wednesday the 20th of May. Our midweek virtual church service this week is happening tomorrow, Thursday, because it's Ascension Day. So we've got a thought for the day for today. And um, uh, all our thoughts for the day this week are based on the Lord's Prayer. We're trying to learn the essential lessons that Jesus wanted his disciples to learn so that we can pray better, perhaps so that we can pray more often and so that we can pray more effectively. When Jesus was asked how to pray, this is how he responded. Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 and 10. I'm just reading the first half of the Lord's Prayer where our focus is going to be this morning. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, we're going to think about the second half of the prayer in the second half of the week. But it's interesting, isn't it, that the first half of the prayer, where you might expect the most important things to come, are three petitions, three specific requests, all connected with God's plans and God's priorities. Hallowed be your name. What, is, what does that one mean? Come back to it in a second. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. And then Jesus applies this rider, which I think goes with all three of them, on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, Jesus says, here are three things that happen in heaven all the time. And in our prayer, we're asking God to make them happen on earth as well. Hallowed be your name. What does that mean? God's name. Our names are our identity. Jesus says we want God's name to be hallowed. In other words, for people to recognise God's identity as God. Many people don't recognise who God is. Many people have no idea of any kind of a God at all. Or many people don't recognise that the God of the Bible is the true God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says in our prayer we want to ask God to hallow his name. That is to say for more people to recognise who God is and what he's done your kingdom come. It's a related point because God's kingdom is the place where God is recognised as king. Is God recognised as king in your life? Well that's great but we want God to be recognised as king in more and more lives. People who don't recognise God as king at the moment, when we pray your kingdom come we mean we want God to be recognised as king by more and more people. But also I guess the degree to which God is king in my life that could be uh, increased, couldn't it? If your life is anything like mine, then there are certain parts of your own life where you want to retain control. Uh, I want to retain control. But actually, in my prayer, I'm saying, God, your kingdom come. Please be king of more and more of my life. Take more control. May I surrender control to you? Because no one can rule my life as well as you can. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Uh, God's will we're told in the Bible, is to bring sinners to repentance. It's for all people everywhere to come into a relationship with God through his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died so that our sins could be dealt with. That's what we're praying for in these three petitions. God's name to be hallowed, more people to recognise him as God. His kingdom to come, more people to recognise him as king and to recognise him more and more as king. And for his will to be done so that more people are brought to be friends with him. Uh, this uh, season between Ascension Day and Pentecost, which this year is 21st of May to the 31st of May, uh, there's a particular prayer initiative. It's a global prayer initiative called Thy Kingdom Come. It's obviously based on uh, these words from the Lord's Prayer. And it's a prayer initiative in which people are encouraged to pray specifically for friends and family members of those who do not currently know the love and peace of Christ to come to know him. It's kind of taking these petitions of the Lord's Prayer and uh, applying them day by day. At St John's we've got a virtual morning prayer by, via Zoom uh, each day at nine o'clock in the morning. You might like to join us for that. But even if you don't join us for that, will you make this your prayer day by day? When we pray these things, we're wanting more and more people to know God and to know him more and more. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in my life, in the lives of my family, in the lives of my friends, in the lives of our community, on earth 
as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining me. God bless you.